Hello everyone, I'm Nate and welcome to the channel. Today on the channel I get an opportunity to review something of a, I guess you would consider it a passion project. Ball Assassin, as known on Instagram, sent me a couple of these 3D printed knuckle rollers. All right, so we're gonna take a look at these. Uh, these are the Hourglass, and as you can kind of tell, they are oversized, uh, which I don't think I've ever seen one, maybe this like this wide. Um, and uh, they're 3D printed, which is kind of cool, right? I mean, there are so many opportunities for 3D printed things right now, uh, from yo-yos, of course, to skill toys. Uh, there are a couple Bally Song out there that I have my eye on for 3D printing. It's cool to see a knuckle roller. I don't think I've seen a knuckle roller 3D printed yet. There, there might be one out there, but I've not seen one for sale. These will be sold directly from Ball Assassin on Instagram. So if you're interested in one of these, I'll have a link in the description to that. It came in two different models here, and you can kind of tell a little bit of the difference based on the center there. This one's going to be a lot more hourglass, right? And this one's going to be a little bit less, little not as thin in the center, right? This one tapers in a little bit more, kind of like a V-shaped yo-yo. This is more of like an H-shaped yo-yo, if that if that makes sense, or organic even, right? Or something like that. Uh, they are the same height and about the same weight as well. Uh, the other difference might be on the ends here, right? This one's kind of uh, concaved in more. The one that's a little more hourglass is flat on the ends here. So uh, I don't think that'll make too much of a difference in play, uh, but maybe that shaves off a little bit of weight, but really they feel about the same weight. They are light, right? In fact, you know, most 3D printed things are pretty light in the feel, right? You normally have to add some weight to them. Unfortunately, uh, on the uh, shipment over, one of the caps ended up actually breaking off. And so you'll see here, this is actually what's underneath here. So I got to see the construction. So it's a blessing a little bit, uh, but maybe, you know, I can glue it back on. So that'll be pretty easy to do. So we're not gonna play with that one as much Maybe I'll kind of tape it on or something, but that uh, that should be easy to glue back on. A couple different options here. I believe they're gonna be coming in black and white as far as the body and then different color caps. I've not seen any other ones, so I've only seen these ones that he sent me. Now, of course they're light, right? One thing that I immediately thought, since I got to see the internals, I wonder if there's an opportunity to kind of add a little bit more weight there in future runs of these. I think there's a lot of potential here. I think they're they're really cool as they are, but maybe a little bit more weight, especially at the ends, might actually be a really cool thing. Maybe adding some washers or other hardware, I don't know. But that's the idea. that's what I'm thinking, right? I think that would be a really cool thing to add again. It would be more weight on the ends. It would only be on the ends, which actually could have some really cool benefit. I did go ahead and bring out a, just like a standard uh, knuckle bone from around square, just to kind of show you like the height difference and just, I mean, come on. I mean, the width is, it's so much wider on the ends, which is gonna have a completely different feel like as you're kind of rolling it, right? It's not gonna roll probably as fast as maybe some others. Maybe that's part of the weight as well. Uh, it's very much, for me, it's a little bit more of a relaxed feel finish on these with that 3D printed is very tactile. And this one's actually in the smooth one. So the one that's not uh, as concaved in the center there is smoother, right? But it still has that kind of like, I don't know if you can hear that little ASMR. Yeah, like to the nail, right? And that's kind of nice, that tactile sort of feel to that. On the one that is a little bit uh, more hourglass shape. There's like kind of edges along there, which has even a more tactile sort of feel to it. I don't know if you can see those really on camera as compared, let me hold up the other one as well. So this one's smooth, this one here, uh, whereas this one is gonna be a little bit more like these ledges here, uh, cuts all the way along. So that's a little bit more tactile. I actually, as I'm kind of rolling these, I kind of like this one a little bit more. Uh, that center, you know, holds like the, the finger pockets a little bit easier, you know?
definitely check out Bell Assassin. If you're interested in one of these, you can purchase directly through Instagram. I'll have a link in the description. Thanks for sending these over, bud. And uh, they're fun. Yeah, got lots of potential. And it, I think it's just cool to see more 3D printed stuff in the skill toy world. So that's going to do it for now. And until the next one, later. Later.